fam it's me Mandy and I'm back with another perfume video so this video is going to be different for me this is going to be a video where I show you guys my empty perfume bottles now some of them are not all the way empty but they're empty to me but I still I'm still going to use a little bit of juice that's left in them like I'm going to make sure it's dry 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 before I throw the bottle away. And that's if I throw the bottle away. I mean, honestly, do you guys throw your perfume bottles away? It just depends on the bottle. I'm thinking like, if it's a very unique perfume bottle, more than likely I won't trash it. But if it's a perfume that I bought at a discount store that I know I can just go and repurchase at any time, I probably will throw the bottle away. I mean, there's no sense in keeping it. But so I'm going to go through, I only have like two, four, five perfumes that are empty, are well on their way to being empty, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. So the first fragrance that I have here that is, well, I haven't sprayed it in a while and I'm going to spray a little bit tonight because I just want to you know have a little bit of a reminder of what it smells like but this is miracle like you can't even see the writing on the bottle anymore but this is miracle by Lancome um so this is a floral fragrance and I know I've said it a hundred times before on my channel that I'm not into floral fragrances it depends on the fragrance if it's like a big bouquet a floral arrangement you know what I'm saying like I can't tolerate that but something like miracle oh Lord, see I ain't sprayed in a while something like miracle where it didn't come off really as a huge floral bouquet you know that's what I like to call them um I'm, I, I was okay with it like I actually was like and still am I'm still in love with miracle um, it was actually one of my favorite floral fragrances before I actually got into fragrances and started learning the notes and all that. Miracle was one of my favorite fragrances, okay? Okay, so I'm going to run down the notes real quick for you guys. I still love this fragrance. This reminds me of spring, you guys. Like, if we were able to go outside right now, I would just feel like I would be like, in a park and there's little flowers all over the ground and different colors like blue and pink and white and just very springtimey. This this is a fragrance like I would associate Mother's Day with and Easter and just everything spring. This is just a very springy fragrance to me. I don't know why I associate it with that time of the year but I just do. Um, so it's considered a floral. Um, it is an oriental, it's considered an oriental fruity fr uh, fragrance with lychee, magnolia, jasmine, ginger, pepper, musk, and amber. And I just feel like this is a beautiful fragrance. Like this is just, this just screams Mother's Day to me. Like any mother, like, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say any mother now. <laughs> Let me take that back. Me as a mother, because I am a mother, I would really enjoy this fragrance. Like, I would grab this fragrance for Mother's Day and wear it because it's just, it's just the epitome of a Mother's Day fragrance. I don't know how else to put it. It just reminds me of a very delicate flower. It's just pretty. I, don't I just remember smelling it for the first time one day walking in the mall and I just had to buy it. It just really spoke to me. It's just very delicate, very feminine, very floral, and it just spoke to another side of me. So yes, I would definitely repurchase Miracle by Lancome. All right, the next one is um, by Vera Wang. This is Love Struck. So I do have a little bit of juice left, y'all. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle and it literally is taking me forever to go through this fragrance. Um, I actually put this in my car and I use it as a for everyday fragrance. Like if I get to work and I feel like oh, I forgot to spray on 
a perfume before I left home or whatever, or if I felt like I needed something, I had this in the car. And it, the top is lost. I don't have the top. The top is a very pretty, um, big top with lace and like plastic flowers. It's purple. Um, but this was a very, um, nice fragrance as well. Um, I actually sprayed some on my hand here not too long ago and I still can smell it. I feel like it has a little hinge of something masculine in it. Okay, here are the notes um, for the Love Struck. Guava, Angelic Blossom, Tuberose, Aquatic Lotus Flower, and it also has some woody ant notes and musk notes. Um, very everyday fragrance. Like this literally could be I'm going to make sure y'all see the bottle. This could easily be a signature everyday fragrance for someone. Um, I would definitely wear this all year round. I would definitely be okay with wearing it to work. It's not going to offend anybody. It's not overpowering. I feel like it does have, um, you know, projection and longevity. In the longevity department, um... It's one of those fragrances where at a certain point you stop smelling it on yourself, but other people can smell it on you, if that makes sense to y'all. But yeah, um, would I repurchase this? No, probably not. Only because I, look, I'm still working on it and I've had it for, oh my God, I know at least four or five years. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it. Very good fragrance though. If you see it at the discount stores, and you like some of the notes I mentioned, go ahead and pick it up. I, I would recommend that you pick it up. It's a really nice fragrance. Okay, the next one, y'all. And you know what? I don't even know why I haven't repurchased this fragrance. I know in my heart of hearts that I want to repurchase this fragrance. I just don't know why. I'm going to tell you why I haven't repurchased this fragrance. Because I cannot believe it's still expensive. Like... Really, this fragrance came out, oh my goodness, probably, I don't even know when it came out, honestly, I don't even think I wrote it down when it came out, but I do remember it when I had my first apartment, I think I got my first apartment in 2000 or 01 or something like that, so that can give y'all an idea of how long this perfume has been out, and every time I go on Sephora, it's, they have it in Sephora, they have it right now in Sephora online, I don't ever see it in the discount stores and even on Amazon it's still freaking expensive and I'm just like why so if y'all recognize this bottle this is none other than the famous Gucci Rush okay can y'all see that Gucci Rush and this is the original there's a Gucci Rush and a Gu Gucci Rush 2 I smell the Gucci Rush 2 not wasn't a big fan of it but this one, total fan of it. This is the Gucci Rush, original Gucci Rush. And this is empty, like ain't Nathan in here. Like, nothing. This is empty. And I have, let me tell you, this, I've held on to this perfume bottle. And it's plastic, okay? I've held on to this perfume bottle for years now. Because I always wanted, I told myself, keep it because this is something you want to rebuy. And it just helps to remind me that I need to rebuy it. I just need to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy it on Amazon or go online with Sephora and go ahead and get it because I miss this fragrance so much, y'all. This fragrance, y'all, let me just read y'all the notes in the Gucci Rush, okay? Gardenia, Freesia, Jasmine. Turkish Rose, Coriander, Vanilla, Patchouli, and Vetiver. Y'all, this fragrance was so just sexy to me back in the day. It was just something different. Gucci came out with a heavy hitter, y'all. When they came out with this, I mean, they really had me shook, okay? I was shook it, all right? I got so many compliments on this fragrance from men and women. This fragrance is bomb. I mean, projection, longevity, and uniqueness. You know, it's very unique. It's, it makes people stop and 
wow you smell so good it's just crazy i'm just so mad i just need to go ahead and repurchase it like i'm tripping like I'm okay the next one is oh so nice love this fragrance to death there's a like a little bitty tiny corner in this fragrance this is burberry of course the top is missing <laughs> i cannot hold on to my tops i don't know why this is the original burberry brit y'all can see can y'all see like there's like a little tiny corner right up in here left like right there mama gonna get it don't worry i'm gonna get it i actually sprayed some on my hand tonight <sighs> This is lovely. Like, this is... Okay, let me read y'all the notes. It is green lemon, frosted pear, white almond, pe white peony, vanilla, amber, and tonka bean. This is so cozy. Like, this is just a cozy fragrance that I love to wear when it got cold. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know... Um, I do separate my fragrances by the season. I know. Most of them I separate by the seasons. There's a few that I don't. There's a few that I wear all year round, no matter what season it is. If I want to wear it, I wear it. Um, but this is one of those where uh, I save it for the winter time. I do interchange my fragrances. I think I mentioned that to y'all before. Like, I need to change them up now. I pull out my spring and summertime fragrances and I put my wintertime fragrances up. I haven't done that yet, but this would definitely go be going up because I consider this a, a fall wintertime fragrance. It just reminds me of a nice coat, cashmere coat, a throw, you know, um, just something to snuggle up and keep me warm. That's what this reminds me of. It's very beautiful fragrance. Would I rebuy this? Yes. Y'all, I, I don't know if I told y'all if I would rebuy the Gucci. I think I did say yes on that. Yes, I need to just now rebuy the Gucci. And I need to rebuy the Burberry Brit original. I do own the Burberry Brit um, Flanker in Rhythm, which is total different fragrance. To me, they're is not really any similarities in the smells you know usually when i get a flanker i know that there's going to be something in it that's going to have like a dna of the original i feel like the burberry brick rhythm is totally is a totally different fragrance from the burberry brick original but i love this fragrance love it to death all right so my last one this is my last one it's from the house of Chanel and um, I actually own the original and I own the flanker. So um, I am referring to Chanel, Ch Chanel Chance, I believe it's pronounced Chance, Eau Tendre, okay. And I, I don't know if I purposely bought this one, you know, I, if I remember correctly, I think I made a mistake and I thought I was getting the Chanel Chance, the original, but when I got home, it was the uh, Old Tendre, and I actually loved it. It's just um very springtime fragrance to me, citrusy. Um, is a very it's a fun fragrance to me. It still has a mature vibe to it, but I loved it anyway. Okay, so the notes, um, so it's considered a floral, citrus. Like I said, it's a citrusy rose fruity musky smell and it's just so fun like this is just so fun now i think the original chance is more a uh, sexier fragrance a more mature fragrance um very um exotic fragrance to me the original this one not so much this is like the little sister to that fruity fun citrusy so now you guys will see why this would be a fragrance that I would pull out springtime, summertime. Um, now the original Chance, I would wear that all year round. This one only in the spring and summer. Would I repurchase it? Yes. And I would repurchase the original Chance also. So yeah, I have to pay more better attention because I don't know why. I don't know how I got those mixed up, but yeah. Um, I would buy both of them. So, yeah, that is it for my empties. Now, I did pull this one out. This is the, um, it's not quite empty, but, I mean, 
I have a little bit left in here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Like, it's a little bit. Left. Like, I'm running through it. Like, I'm, I'm, I have to, like, slow down on this because this is, this like, the one ounce. I think this is the one ounce. And this is the Versace Eros um, uh, Pore Film. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, my God. This is just so sexy to me. Citrusy, sexy. Now, this would be one that I would wear all year round. Because it has some um, uh, sandalwood, ambery note in it. The base note that I feel like it's not overpowering. But you can smell it. And it's good for all year round. It's just one of those all year round fragrances to me. This is really good. So I'm, I'm almost out of this. This is I had to slow down on this. I can't, I can't spray any more of this because... <laughs> I love it so much. I'm not trying not to run out of it. I love y'all know I am a Versace Versace. Y'all know I am a Versace fragrance child. H O. <laughs> like I am so in love with Versace fragrances. There is a few, maybe two Versace fragrances that I don't care for, and I know y'all gonna beat me up over this I'm sorry I'm sorry I don't care for the crystal noir I don't care for the crystal yellow or the crystal bright pink They're, I don't know they just don't do it for me I don't know why I don't know why when I smelled I was really rooting for the crystal noir but when I bought it and I got it it just smelled I don't know weird like soapy like a weird soap fragrance to me I don't know I just think. But anyway, I'm off subject. But those are my empty containers. Let me know. Do y'all save y'all empty uh, bottles? Let me know. Just depends for me if what the bottle looks like. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm glad you guys uh, watched this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for watching my video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the uh, bell notification. That will keep you up to date and let you know when I upload a video. Also, if you have been rocking with me for a while, thank you for being a subscriber. I appreciate you so much. I hope you guys are being safe. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.